Hey guys, this is Rick at Elijah Tooling. I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into one of our products that we sell. As you can tell, this is one of our modular fixtures. It's in a, you know, an acrylic see-through display. But it's got a standard pattern, basically. It's got the fasteners and it has a multi-purpose hole. And so a key feature of this fixture is the multi-purpose hole. We used to do it like this. We used to take this threaded insert and screw it into the hole. And then, and I'm not going to try to go through all that. And then we would take the bushing and we would pound it into the hole. And together, these guys made up what we call a multi-purpose hole. And the, the benefit to that was that you could do a lot with it. This, this hole became the, the basically the, the locating portion of our modular fixture. So what we did is we concepted and brought to market what we call a zip bushing, which is an all-in-one patent pending product that does the same thing as this does, as these two products do. It's driven by a 10 point driver so it can go in rapidly and screw in there rapidly and and I'm again using pneumatic tools or whatever is going to be a lot faster than me doing it by hand but the point is it can be screwed in and out with ease. It has a locating shoulder on the outside and it has a locating shoulder on the inside just like a bushing and yet it is driven like this. So uh, I wanted to go through some of the accessories for the product and let you know that there are some other options for it as well. For example, if you screw up a hole, and this is great for a replacement for these that already exist, if you screw this up, you can go in with a larger step up bushing. And we actually have two sizes. We have one that goes beyond that to the next size. So you, you can screw it up twice and still have a good hole. Um, we have a aluminum plug that goes into the zip bushing. And that is primarily just to keep material and debris out of the hole if you're not going to use it. One of the key features of the zip bushing is our use of the retractable dowel pin that screws in and out of the product. So, and I've got these already here, so I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But the idea is that your locator is always in the modular plate. So the fastener is always in the plate, and your multi-purpose hole is always in the plate. You don't have to go find it in a tool chest someplace, it's in the plate. Anyway. That's the, the um, dessert. I did want to mention, because I ran into this just a minute ago when I was doing a, another trial of this video. We have two different sizes. We have a 500 size and a 501. You don't want to mix those up. So the 500 is a little tighter, 501 just a little looser. And uh, so that gives you some flexibility with regard to your locating products. We also have a 5 8 bushing and we have a plastic insert here if you want to move the zip bushings around which is a key feature of this product. We also have a zip bushing that is made specifically as a receiver for our precision locators. So you could rapidly create a hole that will receive the stud in the precision locator. Um, last, of course, a dowel pin and just a regular old dowel pin will slip in um, into. So I think that's, uh, I've got the, let me do it on this zip machine. There we go. All right. And so if you use the zip bushings with the zerts, you can 
load a modular pro a product rapidly. You just drop it onto the pins like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what's cool about that is you can maybe not a product that's as light and as little as this, but if you have a plate and you're sliding it across your fixture, it's pretty neat to be able to pull or to screw these up into the plate. And we show that in some other videos and some other applications, but I thought I'd mention that. I believe that's it. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.